What up YouTube, it's your boy Big Cool coming to you from Colossal Boxing Talk and I'm here to discuss uh, WBC Heavyweight Champion Deontay, the Bronze Bomber Wilder. Um, as you all know, he's been granted a voluntary defense ahead of his potential matchup with mandatory uh, challenger Alexander Pervekin who has a fight tonight against Marzi Marzonis, Walk, a perennial, perennial heavyweight contender. Um, you know, that fight is kind of, you know, eagerly anticipated uh, because it'll pit, you know, Wilder, a 2008 Olympic bronze medalist um, for, you know, USA against the Russian um, gold medalist from 2004, Alexander Pavekin, um in a fight where, you know, Pavekin, who is highly skilled, has good power, will definitely test, um, you know, Wilder, who is still green, who's still learning, but he has some good upside. He's athletic. He's uh, six seven, has an explosive, powerful right hand, um, and you know he's a a, a charismatic uh, guy. He's a great you know personality, big trash talker, and you know it'll be a good test for him to see where he's involved at since his Burmester Vern fight where he won the uh, title. You know impressively de defeating Burmester Vern by a unanim unanimous decision. Excuse me. Um, his last two fights have been close to his hometown of Tuscaloosa, uh, Alabama, which they've taken a place in Birmingham, um, Alabama against uh, Eric Molina, and I can't pronounce the other guy's name. Um, you know, he's been criticized, and rightfully so, for the lack of uh, step-ups in his competition, you know. You know, although the heavyweights do, you know, mature late and develop uh, slower than, you know, the lighter, uh, lighter weight classes, it's time for him to really put up a shut-up um, after this voluntary defense, you know, it's like the same thing. It's the same thing. He's managed by Al Heyman and, you know, Al Heyman, you know, can and will, you know, guide his his fighters to the big money, um, you know, purses in the big fights, you know, without relatively having to, you know, test themselves. Some, some is, you know, it's worked fine for because they're true fighters and real skillful, you know, others, you know, it's backfired because for whatever reason, lack of skill, lack of being able to take a punch, lack of heart, or whatever it may be, you know, it's kind of the same old cycle, you know, same old cycle, same old cycle. When will Deontay Wilder step up? He says he wants to fight Vladimir Klitschko, Anthony Joshua, Tyson Fury. I mean, and I believe him, but, you know, is his manager, Al Heyman, willing to put him in there with, uh, with those guys who are very, you know, more than you know, uh, able to, you know, capable of, of defeating him and defeating him, you know, in an impressive fashion. You got Anthony Joshua, who is, what, 6'5". He's athletic. He's more polished. He can punch. Better boxer at this stage than, you know, than Wilder. You have Vladimir Kishko, who's the best heavyweight in the world. Top five pound for pound guy. You can argue he's the best fighter or should be number one pound for pound. You know, he has a great jab, you know, Thunder's right hand, Thunder's left hook. He's always in condition. He's, you know, he's well, you know, prepared each and every time he uh, steps in the ring um, to do what he have to do. And you have Tyson Fury, who is 6'9", would have a height advantage over any heavyweight he's facing, you know, Wilder included. Wilder 6'7", Vladimir 6'6", and Joshua 6'5". But, you know, Tyson Fury and Vladimir Klitschko will be meeting up November 28th um, you know, in a fight that's supposed to happen a couple weeks ago, but, you know, uh, Vladimir Klitschko suffered an injury and had to be pushed back. You know, a lot of these guys are, are chomping at the bit to get in the ring with, you know, Deontay Wilder. Um, but, you know, boxing is a business. Negotiations have to happen. You have to have, you know, both fighters being willing to sign a contract, you know, and, and get in the ring and fight. You got Joseph Parker, uh, uh, up and coming heavyweight, who's out there as well to keep an eye on. And, you know, you still got the old heads, Tony Thompson and David Haywood. If he ever decides to return, who could make some some noise? Who who's capable? Derek Chisora. So it's you know it's a lot of capable guys out there that that you prefer you know Wilder face um, to see you know to get some type of test and see how far he's developed. You know, since the Bermain Stavern fight, you know, and speaking of Stavern, you still have him. You have Luis Ortiz, who's a a, a very talented um, heavyweight. I think he's a Cuban heavyweight. He can punch. 
Um, he can box. He looked very impressive. And you got Brian Jennings. How can I forget him? Those two are meeting up um, December 19th on the HBO card. That's going to be a terrific fight. So there's a lot of options for uh, Deontay Wilder. And after this voluntary defense, um, January 16th, um, hopefully, you know, he steps it up and face one of those guys because a lot of those guys have been calling him out. And he, he said he's willing to fight, and I believe him, but it's time to put up a shut up uh, after this voluntary defense. Uh, subscribe to Colossal Boxing Talk. Like this video. Leave your comments in the comment section below. Tell me who would you like to see him fighting in this voluntary defense. Um, I wouldn't mind seeing him fight Trezor or, or Areola just because those guys are, you know, proven veterans who are durable and will at least give an effort to, you know, to try to win the fight. Um, if there's a name, um, you know, a fighter you would like to see him, you know, face that's possible and that Hamer will actually, you know, make happen, um, let me know in the comment section below. Like this video, share this channel, subscribe to the channel, and spread the word about Colossal Boxing Talk. Until next time, I'm out. Peace.